you, ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Stop being so bloody! Oh, yeah. It's not personal. Now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. Always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? That's it. left on holiday. won't like it if I get too close to that. Unless I look like a council worker, I suppose. I wouldn't get too close to that. You're liable to get quite a shock. What's gone wrong here, Constable? What's gone wrong, sir, is a complete lack of preventative maintenance. Council workers don't test the poppers anymore. They don't even see them until something electronic goes tits up. Just lucky one of the lads wasn't in there when it decided to become a spanker. So you're waiting for a council worker? I'm not holding my breath. I hope one comes soon because I've got places to be. I wonder how I can get a boiler suit.
see you at the pub. Uh, Move along, please. What's done is done. Nothing to see here. The past is history. Now, now, mind your own business. Yesterday is no place to live. Would you like this? Well, that is quite kind of you. Normally, ours is a thankless profession. It smells oh. like something... Ah. Oh. I'm gonna damper on you! Has actually gotten worse. Remember the victory? Who doesn't remember the victory? Best day of our life. How did we run them off? Uncle Jack explained that with tenacity. That's a proper citizen. Something like that. Day for it? Wait, you were acting strange. I forgot to tell you the punchline. Where did you not go? Peepers patrolling the park. I should snoop around a bit.
your joy immediately. Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I could tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's gonna get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Germans want children. I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Oh, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. <sighs> Sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie, it confuses everything. Yes, yes it really does. Alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. Aha! A 
certainly does have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? Oi! Uh, uh... Uh, just lie down. Be hicking both of them. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's home. Maybe I could borrow it. Look who's in a hurry. Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's Hall. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Just, uh... Watching the day go by. Dos mil años más tarde. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh yes, that's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. Lovely weather. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? Should clear up soon, I imagine. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. I wish it was Anglican. Um, Percy, they said you got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you... what? Well, why you got the caning. Yes? Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slathy Crowden's face? No, I didn't! Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around the... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault then. Oh, good. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I oh, know. having so much fun. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them.
lovely day for it. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come too. Better, thanks. I have a bit of a feeling this venue might not be to your taste. Ah! I, I should come back entirely covered in rubber. I suppose. They probably do do this in Rome, don't they? Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Is that her magic wand? I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I have a feeling that's not what they use it for, though. They go by. me just having a bit of a sit down what am i doing Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. 
Right. I can take his stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? That's... new. Excuse me. I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motoline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Bonchon? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Lud's Hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. Happiness is a choice!